everyone. So in this video, as promised, we are going to do perform the lab for the uh, storing secrets as files or mounting as files. And we're going to talk about or summarize at the end, which will uh, refer or which will give a good reference why this is the best way to utilize the secrets. So without wasting any time, let's get started. We're going to mount the same secrets that we have been creating as files rather than environment variables. So let me share the YAML file to you and let me explain it to you. As uh, I said, these are these YAML files I have borrowed from the Google, of course. Few of them is from MS documentation, few of them from the GitHub. So Let's get into the YAML file and understand uh, how we are doing it. Well, we already have the secrets now here. These things we have explained many times. Kind is pod, that's the name of the pod. Nginx is the container now volume mount. That's where we are utilizing it. This would be mount inside the container uh, on this path. And this is the volume, secret volume. And this is our secret, which has two values, token and URL. Right, so that's how we are going to utilize it. It is not in the container like the environmental variables. It is outside the container, but we are mounting it on the container. Okay, so why why I'm saying this because if you update it, your container will have the updated secrets. The first reason this is good as compared to the environmental variables. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about other reasons as well. So let me quickly uh, create this YAML file, okay? Which will create a pod for us with the volume mounted. It says already existed, okay. Maybe I forgot to delete it. Uh, it's fine, that would be okay because this will create the same pod. So let me do kubectl get pods. So we have that already created using volume. This command will run and this YAML file will create this pod, okay? So no need to go ahead and delete and run it again. So it's fine. So what we need to do, we need to exec into the pod or it's a single container, so into the container. Uh, I mean to say I need not to specify the container because it's a single one where the uh, volume is mounted. So I'm doing kubectl exec. And uh, interactive, of course, and with the shell, and I'll tell you something once, it, once I'm inside it. Now, where was the volume mounted? It was in the etc secret, so cd etc secrets. And what we need to cat, because we got two secrets. One is secure URL.txt, and there we go. And there was one more, which was secure token. So that's how we can see it. It is here because it's, it's mounted as volume, okay? Now, if you see, let me exit this out from here and do the cat again, do the same file. Oh, not the create, but the cat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Now here you can see we are given the name, uh, secret name, right? So you don't have to define a name for each secret. However, application needs to have a special code to read the contents of the file in order to load it properly. That is very important. These are the secrets, like right? secure token dot dot text, secure URL dot text, and these are the values. And here we are referring as in Kubernetes secret name. Okay, so we should have a little refactoring in the application to utilize this because these are mounted as files. The very first thing. Now there is few things. For example. Uh, secrets again are available in plain text and not in base 64 right we need to we we can't ignore it right it is right here in the plain text 
even with the mount files, just like any other method that we have seen. So, and the next thing, the secrets are uh, mounted as a file. So it is actually outside the container. So we can have the file system permissions applied to these secrets. This means that you can, you can control uh, who can access or which process can get access to the contents of these files. And as I said at the beginning, if your secrets are updated dynamically, you need not to worry because your pods would have the updated secret. So these are the few things by which we can say uh, mounting secrets as a file is better than using as an environmental variables. And there is one more thing, uh, if it is utilizing, if we, if we are utilizing secrets and as environmental variables, uh, most logging systems will log these sensitive secrets in a plain text. And hence it is advised to use secrets as files since they are not passed in plain text except to the pod and the application, right? So that's about it. And because we have seen everything and there is something which is bothering us, of course. So there is one more resource. We all are aware of it. We have mentioned it, used it a couple of times. So this is the time, uh, not, the, not right now, of course, the next video, we are going to utilize Azure Key Vault to provide secrets for the application. Okay, and that video or that resource, Azure Key Vault, is the ultimate answer of utilizing the secrets in any of the resource. Of course, it should be supported uh, that we're running on the Azure or outside the Azure. Okay, instead of using the Kubernetes inbuilt, it's better to use Azure Key Vault. So let's get, let's meet in another video uh, where we'll be doing or performing the lab and talking about it simultaneously or installing the Azure Key Vault, okay? Till then, take care, bye-bye.